This video is part of a series of videos on staking to lines within Leica Captivate. It will show how to use the Stake to Line app for staking a line with a slope. Some features of the Stake to Line app are only summarised in this video, but are fully described in the Staking a Line, Line and Segments video. Please do watch that video to learn even more about this app. We will use the example house project where several different lines form a road, a building footprint, a service line and a pipeline. Our task for this video is to stake the root of the pipeline and to mark where it is needed to dig slopes in order to lay the pipeline in a trench below the ground surface. Let's take a look at where our line might come from. As described in other staked line videos, to be used in the Stake to Line app, the line must exist in a normal job. Either the line already exists in the job, for example, it was already measured or imported, or it will need to be created, for example, by importing attached CAD data, or by creating a new line using existing points. Accessing the Stake to Line app is simple in the home screen. We choose the job on the job carousel, and then tap on the stake to line icon. A list of stake line tasks appears, and from here we can choose the task stake line with slope. Alternatively, in the 3D Viewer app, tapping and holding on the line will bring up a context menu, where we can choose stake or measure line, and then select stake line with slope to take us straight into the stake to line app with the task and correct line already selected for us. We will return to the task screen and continue with the task stake line with slope. The define line screen is where we choose our line to work with. Any lines that already exist in the job are listed here with details about the line. As described in other stake to line videos, here we can also choose what will define the height to be staked. We can apply a shift to temporarily move the line for the duration of the task. And we can access the Create app to create new lines based on existing points or entered values. For this task, we already have our line in the job. So we will go to the 3D viewer to choose our line to work with. We tap on the line and to indicate it has been selected, it becomes highlighted and shows the line direction. This becomes important when we define our slope. We confirm with OK and are then taken to the Define Slope screen. Here we define how the slope is determined relative to the selected line. The slope direction can be defined left or right, up or down, relative to the direction of the selected line. The slope value defines the slope grade. In this case, it is set in the regional settings to be defined as a slope ratio. However, it can also be defined as a percentage or an angle. The hinge of the slope is basically the slope origin, and this can be offset from the selected line horizontally or vertically. For our task, we want to create a slope which represents the trench. So we will start on the right of the pipe and say our slope is up from the line. The slope will be dug at a 1 to 1 ratio, and the hinge of the slope will be offset 0.5 meters from the line. We confirm our entry with OK, and are then taken to the Define Stake screen. In the Define Stake screen, we choose where our stake position is relative to the line, by entering a distance along the line, an offset across the line, or offset in height. We can also choose that the stake position along the line can be incremented manually or even automatically after measuring each point. We will start our staking at the beginning of the line and stake at 5 meter increments along the straight sections of the line, but increase this density and stake every 2 meters on the curves. Before we enter into the stake screen, we will make some changes to the settings, which are appropriate for our task. We press Function and then Settings which we could do from anywhere in the app. Because we are staking a pipeline, we want to use changes rather than referring to a distance along. 
We will choose Help Me Navigate by facing the instrument. We want to stake out, ensuring the accuracy requirement is met. So we will check differences before storing, checking the chainage and offset are staked out within 20 millimeters. We have finished with the settings, so we will confirm with OK and then press OK again to continue into the stakeout screen. The stakeout screen is very similar to all stake apps within Leica Captivate. On the left are pages of values and inputs. On the top right is a 3D viewer, which consists of 2D, 3D, Navi and stake views. And underneath, values of our current position relative to the stake position. The stake screen and staking process is described in more detail in other stake videos. We will begin by staking the pipeline position using the stake view. The graphics guide us to our first stake location, where we can mark on the ground the location of the pipeline once the required accuracy has been met. The next step for our task is to mark where the slope will need to be dug for the trench. For this, we need to look at the slope specific information in the info page, and in this case, the height difference to slope. We can stake this out by finding the position on the ground where the height difference to slope is zero, known as our catch point. By maintaining the chainage, we move across the ground, checking our info page values until the catch point is found. Note that the stake values are still relative to our pipeline and will not be zero at this point. Once we have marked the catch point position, we can use the chainage increment key to start staking at the next positions, first at five meters along the line, but then as specified, every two meters along the curves. To stake the catch points on the left slope, we can return to the Define Slope page. Here we now define that the slope direction is left up. We keep our slope ratio the same, and we specify that the hinge offset is now at minus 0.5 meters, meaning it is to the left of our line. We press OK, and then OK again, and repeat the stake process again, until our task is complete. We have seen in this video how to stake a line with a slope and had an overview of the powerful features and settings available in the Stake to Line app. Other videos will continue with this house project to show staking a line or a segment of a line and also staking a grid of points, all using the Stake to Line app. Thanks for watching.